So I blitzed this show in like a day. It was, I couldn't, well, it's like a book, put it down, but I couldn't <laughs> stop watching. Um, I can imagine there was many reasons for you to get involved, but yes. I, I read somewhere that you said it was very much against type for you. I mean, was that the kind of the main swing that it, it was very different for you? Yeah, I would say the, the fact that it was a bit of a 180 and that I was able to play someone who was a little more aggressive and assertive and took up a little more space and a little more confidence. And also the fact that it was a Ryan Murphy piece. It's, it's, it's hard to say no to that. He's a brilliant creator. He's a behemoth of television. And you feel very safe on his set because you know he knows exactly what he's doing. Yeah, there's so many layers to him as well. I mean, he obviously wants to, to have the power and have the politics, but also he's suffering from, from heartbreak and he's come from a, a broken family. You know, he's adopted and everything else. I mean, what was it specifically about him that you thought uh, would give you the best platform to, to bring him to life? I. You know, I think, about Ryan or the character? About the character. Yes, yes, yes. I think that um, Ryan was very smart in creating uh, a character that played on some of the strengths that I have with, with vulnerability and, and sort of access to that and, and yet forced me to sort of turn all, all of the other sort of aspects of him on its head as far as the people that I've played before. And I think the combination of being able to use the tools that I'm comfortable using but in a brand new sort of mask was... Uh, I felt pretty confident that I could do it. And also Ryan had a faith in my ability to do it much before I had it in myself. So I really wanted to deliver for Ryan and rise to the occasion. He tends to attract quite a fantastic casts and array of people. Yes. What was it like working with Gwyneth and also the great Bob Balaban? I mean, that must have been oh absolutely my gosh, incredible. Yeah, no one is talking about Bob Balaban, which to Bob me was Balaban. like one of the craziest parts. It was wonderful. I mean, Gwyneth in particular immediately felt very maternal and, and protective towards me and, and very intimately... Uh, connected with me and I, I made me feel like an equal which is you know I, I was you know very intimidated by Gwyneth Paltrow as we all would be um, and I think it really comes across in this in the relationship between Peyton and his mother and I think it was really important to all of us that that be a very grounded and, and, and human relationship because that's a very important component of Peyton's character uh, and she's just wonderful a dream and not to give anything away but if there was your possibility of going back are you are you hopeful that the audience there's enough audience for you to go back and revisit him in a in a cuz in a different moment in his life as the movie as the show goes on yes i think so we're going to we're going to make a second season as soon as we're finished uh, promoting this this first one and it's going to be a whole new arena with a, a, a new opponent, and uh, I think it's going to be very exciting to see how the tone will transfer to a new locale. And Bette Midler. And Bette Midler. That's <laughs> all good for me. Thank you so much for your time. Absolute pleasure. Nice Congratulations. To meet you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey!